Well, hello, it's Shandy from expressionfiberarts.com and I got a ton of requests on how to make this cute crocheted snowflake. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. It's only three rounds, it's pretty quick. So let's get started. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard, a size zero US hook, a darning needle, some pins, scissors, and some scrap yarn. I'm using some fingering weight cashmere yarn that I had left over from a scarf. So to get started, just wrap the yarn three times around your finger like so, slide your hook under the first two loops, and pull the third loop through both of those first two loops. And slide it off your finger. And you now have two loops. We're gonna work into both of those loops. So chain five, and double crochet into both of those loops. Now chain two, and double crochet again into both of those loops. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet again, Finish with a chain two. Now we're gonna pull up that middle. If you have a strong yarn, you can just yank your tail, but mine's kind of delicate. So I'm gonna cinch up one loop at a time and then pull the tail. And your center will be nice and tight and it won't come undone. You can use that technique for lots of other projects too, like hats. All right, so to finish off that round, just slip stitch into that first chain five and then we'll get started on round number two. Okay, so go ahead and chain three, and then work three double crochets into that chain two space. Okay. Once you've done that, you're gonna chain two, hop on over to that next chain two space and work four double crochets into that chain two space. And then to continue on this round, you're just gonna complete that. So chain two, four double crochets in the next chain two space, chain two, four double crochets in the next chain two space, and you do that all the way around ending with a chain two. As you can see, these snowflakes go pretty quickly, so you can make a whole bunch for your tree, or for a garland, or for whatever you like. If you have any other ideas of tutorials that you'd like me to do in the future, just go ahead and comment below. I read every comment, I love reading them, and I love hearing your new and fresh ideas. So go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that chain three there that you did at the start of the round. And that completes round number two. So now what we're gonna do is slip stitch our way over to the next chain two space. So just slip stitch in each double crochet across until you get to that chain two space. And then go ahead and slip stitch right into that space as well. Now we're gonna make our first little edging for our snowflake. So chain three, and slip stitch into the chain two space. Then you're gonna chain five and slip stitch into the chain two space again. Like so, now chain seven, slip stitch. Chain eight, 
Okay, and then chain five again. And slip stitch into the same chain two space. And then you're gonna finish with a chain three and a slip stitch into the same chain two space. All right, so once you've done that, then you're gonna slip stitch in each double crochet across till you get to the next chain two space and slip stitch into the chain two space as well. And then repeat what you just did in each chain two space around. So that's chain three, slip stitch, chain five, slip stitch, chain seven, slip stitch, chain five, slip stitch, and chain three, slip stitch. And remember just to slip stitch your way over to the next chain two space. When you're done, just cut your end and pull it through the loop. And an easy and quick way to create the tag or the tie for your snowflake to hang from is to grab a darning needle and weave it up through the end of one of the peaks. So I'll show you how I do that. Make sure to do it on the back side and just try to hide it as best as you can. And this just takes a few seconds really. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, you can subscribe to my channel if you like. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. And if you want, you can head over to expressionfiberarts.com. I'll put the link below. And if you want to sign up for my email newsletter, you will get a coupon code to my shop. Yay! So exciting. So you're just going to poke it on up through that tip. There you go. And do the same thing with the other end. And like I said, this is some fingering weight cashmere yarn that I'm using just because I had it left over from a project. It creates a nice soft kind of vintage look. If you want to use cotton or something a little bit uh, more stiff or sturdy, you can. You could use wool. I like to use natural fibers so that you can block them out, like cotton, wool, silk. You could use alpaca. So, you can see the unblocked versus the blocked snowflake. What is blocking, you ask? Well, for today's demonstration, I just soaked my snowflake in water, and I'm going to pin it out and let it dry. It'll hold its shape, but it's not actually stiff. If you want it to be stiff, you want to mix half Elmer's glue and half water. You can also sprinkle glitter on it if you want a sparkly snowflake. Ta-da! Just let it dry overnight, and there's your little snowflake. You can also wear these as earrings too if you want. And then just hang it on your tree for all to see. I hope your holidays are wonderful and I appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.